Well, hi, Robin. Hi. Where are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You're in London? I'm in, I'm in Manchester. Manchester. Are you having a good uh -huh. time in the UK? Yeah, I am, actually. We had a great show um, yeah, the day before yesterday in London. And... Um, it's been good. I mean, I, they like me here, so it's good to come here. <laughs> when are you going to take a break? You've been working pretty much nonstop for a really long time now. Yeah, I know. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's been three years now since the album came out in Sweden, and I'm thinking that quite soon I have to start writing again because otherwise I'll forget how to write songs or something. <laughs> but I think it's quite soon. After America, I mean, now it's... Now the album is released there, so I just have to keep going. And you're you're touring this summer too, like festivals and things like that, right? Exactly. I'm doing a lot of festivals this summer, and then I'm, you know, coming back over to America to do some other shows. Later, oh, that's so. exciting. So I heard you had this new thing. What's this? The new reporter thing for your fans? What? Tell me about this. Where fans can be reporters. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We're like giving them a challenge where, you know, they can report from the show and they can maybe win a prize to come backstage and report stuff from there. And um, I just want to like have them do their own Konnichiwa TV. So, I want to see what they want, so, how they would like, how they would do it, you know? So they can go to your MySpace page for more information or where can people get more info? They can go to Robin.com or MySpace slash Robin MySpace. That's good. So now that I have you here, you're pretty much like my prisoner. I'm going to ask you out in the open publicly because let me use this opportunity. <laughs> I asked you in private one time. Everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people know that you did the demo to Britney Spears' his song, Piece of Me. And people need yes. to hear this. I want to hear this. When can we hear this? It has to be released. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I have the demo actually... <laughs> In my computer. Send it over. <laughs> send it over. I'm gonna send it to you. The only thing I have to, and this, I'm being totally honest. I have to check it with the people who who own the, you know, to, who owns the recording. Okay, it's not okay. Me. They can sue me and stuff. Right. So I'm doing that, and I'm talking to them, and I think that they're like doing it but it's taking them some time to get back to me so i promise you'll get it as soon as i can give it to you <laughs> all right okay so i'm sure um you know people uh ask you a lot but but i haven't asked you this before so i want to know what are you listening to on your ipod right now because i'm listening to you a lot so what are you listening to i'm listening to um the swedish band called familian it's spelled f-a-m-i L J E N and they have a song called the Snura Rimin Skalle, which is amazing. They sound like a punkier version of the knife. Okay. Um, I listen to them a lot. Yeah, it's really, really, really good. You should check it out. And I mean, um, you're into Swedish music. You like Adam Tensta and stuff. <laughs> yeah, oh, I like Adam Tensta, and I've <laughs> recently been getting into that Leaky Lee girl. Yeah, she's great. She's a friend of yours. She's like this good. <laughs> Well, we know each other, and um, sometimes we hook up, and, and we, you know, hang out when we're on the road and stuff. I wouldn't say that we are friends, but we like each other, you know? I think there's a, a real connection between her and me in the sense that we grew up around the same age, so we listen to a lot of the same things, you know? Cool. Um, yeah. I like that. So, uh, for those of you, for those of you watching now who haven't seen Robin live, you have to because she's amazing. And one of the things that yeah. I thought was really interesting that I'd never seen before was that you have two drummers. Like, how did yeah. how did that idea pop into your head to have two drummers? Well, for me, it was like, you know, the challenge of bringing this uh, album to the stage was not to do everything with acoustic instruments and be like all, you know, live. For me, it was about like making it as a, a good experience as listening to the album. And that was, you know, enhancing what's already there. So it's bringing out the beats and really like bringing out the lyrics and the songs. And, and so it just felt like a natural thing to put two drummers on there because it looks so good. It's almost like it's choreographed the way they move, you know, exactly at the same time. Yeah. And um, we have the drums and we have computers and electronic, like a lot of electronic instruments. And so 
I would just wanted to make everything more simple, so it becomes a club show. It's like high energy and it's simple. It's not too pretentious. You know what I mean? But it's a fun. It's a show, though. It's definitely a show, and it's fun. Mm. Um, yeah. So in, in America, the single. I think the single that they're going with. They've gone with is Cobra Style. Yeah. Are you making a video for that? Yes, I am. You are. <laughs> I'm making. Yeah, I'm making a video for it uh, actually next week. And um, I can't tell you anything about it yet because we haven't really decided yet what we're going to do. It's a little stressed because Cobra Style now is like, there, you know, people listen to like song. We did it on, you know, lots on TV in America. In Letterman. And so now they're supposed to be on Letterman, exactly. We did The View. The and, View. Um, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> it, was it was great, great though. Yeah, I did the view with the teddy bear heads, and I got to say hi to Whoopi, which is cool. <laughs> Whoopi. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, that's good. So, I don't know. Well, it was nice catching up. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> that they bum rushed us off stage when you, when you, I wasn't that crazy. I, I had left just before that. That's right. I, uh, we had this after party for Robin's concert in Los Angeles, and the kids were so excited for her that they, they kind of rushed the stage when she started to DJ. Yeah, it was crazy. Me and my friend, we we DJ a lot, and we call ourselves Kanichiwa bitches. And we always DJ, like, you know, that DJ song song, like, ass, titties, and titties. ass, that and ass titties. And titties. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. So we put that on, and we put on, like, you know, I uh, just can't get enough by Depeche Mode, and all these, like, crazy songs. And people start to go wild, you know? Like, it was really, like, a, a really cool energy in the club. And then people started bum-rushing the stage, and all of a sudden, we were, like, almost pushed off the stage. And then, like, 30 minutes into our DJ set, they just closed the whole club down, <laughs> which I thought was quite cool. That we played so good that they had to close the club down. Well, that just means... <laughs> It, that just means that you have to come back to Los Angeles and we'll have to throw a bigger and yeah. better party. I would. I would do that, you know. If you ask me to DJ, I'll, next time I'll do it for you. All right. Well, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> so everyone, yeah. visit Robin's uh, MySpace and her website. And if you haven't yet, then check her out on tour. Um, and I'll see you soon when you come back to America. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.